Ivan Eland is director of the Center for Peace and Liberty uh, of the Independent Institute in Oakland and a longtime foreign policy guru. Ivan, I'd like to talk about what do you think is a major contributing factor to the amount of terrorism that, uh, that we're seeing in the world today, especially the Islamic terrorism? Well, I think you have to look at the writings of bin Laden and other uh, Islamic jihadists and uh, what you find is their, ma their beef with America is mainly foreign policy issues like uh, uh, support for tyranny in the Middle East, uh, that is autocratic rulers, uh, support for, uh, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, you, well, uh, opposition to U.S. military occupation of uh, Arabian Peninsula, Persian Gulf, etc. So it's, so it's really the fact that we're over there that makes them want to come over here and kill us. That's exactly right. And I think we have to cho um, you know, choose between empire and republic and, uh, and empire and security. And what we're doing is we're choosing empire and we're wondering why our national security has been um, you know, lessened because of attacks like 9-11 and other uh, underwear bombers and that sort of thing. So what you're saying is that the policy of aggressive overseas uh, involvement in Muslim countries actually reduces our security? Yes, yes. And I think an example of that is the underwear bomber. You know, eight days after we ratcheted up the war in, in Yemen, uh, he, he was coming from uh, Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, which is Yemen. So I think mm -hmm. you, you see, and you saw the Pakistani Taliban, which never really attacked the U.S. Uh, behind the Times Square bombing. Uh, and because we've been going into Pakistan with drone attacks and on the ground occasionally. Uh, when you talk about changing American foreign policy to be less aggressive and less imperialistic, do you find that uh, uh, many ordinary Americans think that you're crazy? No, I actually, the further you get from Washington, the more uh, acceptance you get of this because people are very practical and they think, well, I'm not sure why are we doing that because they don't understand a lot of the uh, what the elite does in Washington and the reason they don't understand it is because it really doesn't make sense unless you're an elite person and you benefit from this or there's some vested interest and you get the average person on the street they're pretty practical and they just say I, I really don't understand that and they think for some reason that, that they're missing something and they're not an expert but really they're not understanding it because it doesn't make any sense. Is what, so I think you really have to uh, rely on people. And a lot of people uh, disagree with the U.S. policy, I think, or find it uh, at least um, un, you know, not understandable. Well, thank you for being part of the Register Video Information Project, and good luck with your future <clears throat> endeavors. Thank you.